Ooh, Kuma, look at this bandana. What do you think? Should we stop by during lunch and take a look? Yeah? Okay, go away. A big challenge a lot of marketing teams face is tracking and measuring conversions. I mean, just because Kuma and I saw an ad for this bandana doesn't mean I'm gonna immediately buy it without Kuma's sniff of approval at the store first. It's the same with your campaigns. Just because someone clicks your Google ad, that doesn't mean they're gonna make a purchase right away. Usually they do something else first. They might schedule a call with your sales team, visit your store and browse, sign up for a loyalty program at your cash register. A lot can happen between the time they see your ad and buy. So how do you connect the dots? One of my favorite things about HubSpot's Google Ads integration is that it lets you unlock more accurate conversion metrics. So connecting those dots is easy and fast, and you don't even have to leave your HubSpot Smart CRM. Let's check out how it works and what it means for your business. First things first, if you're a HubSpot professional or enterprise customer, there's a good chance you're already collecting a lot of important user-consented information about your customers, that magical first-party data. Whether it's a conversation with your sales team or a trip to a physical store, those interactions go into your HubSpot Smart CRM. Basically, anytime a customer does something in the real world as a result of something they see online, it gets captured. But how do you get that first party data connected to Google Ads? If you wanna see what people do after clicking your ad, you're gonna to wanna to use a tool called Enhanced Conversions. This feature uses your first party data to paint a more accurate picture of your conversions so you can use that information to improve your campaigns. Now, there are two types of enhanced conversions for Google Ads. The first is enhanced conversions for web, which is perfect for tracking sales and other conversions that take place on your website. The second is enhanced conversions for leads, which lets you capture activities that happen elsewhere, either offline or somewhere other than your website. This is exactly how my local pet store gets a more accurate picture of how each Kuma sniff test, phone call, or store visit helps lead to a sale. They can use that information to improve their ad bidding and do it all in a secure, privacy-safe way. Not only is this easy, it's extremely effective. So how does it work? Let's take a look. For today, I'm gonna to show you how to get started with enhanced conversions for leads. We'll take an ad conversion event in HubSpot and sync it to your Google Ads account so you can see just how fast and easy it is to capture this information without ever leaving your HubSpot Smart CRM. To get started in your HubSpot account, Click on Marketing, then Ads. Then click Create in the top right and select Event. Now, when we refer to an ad conversion event in HubSpot, we're talking about changes to a contact record. Maybe someone bought a product at one of your stores or their life cycle changed from opportunity to customer. We want to share that information with Google Ads so you can attribute the activity to your Google Ads campaigns. To get that set up, select Google Ads under Ad Network, then select your Google Ads account. Now to create an Enhanced Conversions for Leads event, you want to select Lifecycle Stage under Event Trigger. Next, you want to choose your desired Lifecycle Stage. I'm going to choose Customer. This means anytime a contact in your CRM changes from Opportunity to Customer, HubSpot's going to submit the event to Google Ads. But we don't just want to tell Google Ads when someone becomes a customer. We also want to share how much that Lifecycle Stage change is worth to your business. This helps Google Ads better understand your ideal customer profile so you can reach more of those high value customers with future ad campaigns. I'm gonna select use the deal amount to automatically select the number recorded in your CRM for each contact. But what if some contact records don't have a deal amount attached to them? No problem. If you know the general value of that lifecycle stage, you can enter it here. So let's say someone typically becomes a customer at your company when they buy an $80 product. I'm gonna enter $80. So now if there's no deal amount to go by, we'll tell Google Ads that this lifecycle stage has a value of $80. Next, I'm gonna go down to data sharing setting. Now, this first one is an optional field. Get permission from your contacts first before you send their data to Google Ads for an event. Since I've already set up a custom property, I can select consent here. Then I'm gonna choose I consent to make sure I'm only connected data to Google for customers who have given me permission to do so. Now you can select which contact data you want to share with Google. If you wanna make sure you're connecting all the dots, it's a good idea to select them all. So I'm gonna select email address, phone number, and address. Then you can choose which contacts to share with Google Ads. 
Here again, we want to leverage as much data as possible when measuring conversions. So I'm gonna choose all contacts that move to the selected lifecycle stage. Now, if you want those lifecycle stages to show up in your Google Ads reports as conversions, you're gonna to wanna to set them as a primary event in HubSpot. This will also tell Google Ads to use the information for bidding. This is exactly what I wanna do, so I'm gonna check that box. Make sure you've given your event a name, then go ahead and click Create Event. Congrats, you've created your event and syncing is active. Now, when you go to the Events tab, you can see the customer event we just set up right here. It's all set and ready to go. Now up here, you can see events that I created before the Enhanced Conversions for Lead feature was available. But guess what? Now I can send that information to Google Ads too. Just click the Update to EC button, then complete the same steps we just went through. So I'm gonna select Consent, then check all these boxes, and again, I'm gonna select all contacts here. And boom, my event's updated. Now, when a contact changes from a lead to an MQL, or when someone does something that qualifies them as a customer, HubSpot will automatically send that information to Google Ads. If this is your first time using this feature, you'll also need to turn on the Enhanced Conversions for Leads settings in your Google Ads account. But don't worry, it's easy. You'll find step-by-step -step instructions in the HubSpot knowledge base, along with details on how to view and use your HubSpot data in Google Ads. Just click the link in the description below and follow along. So now our local pet store can use enhanced conversions to match my and Kuma's preferences more precisely. They can tailor their ads to me based on Kuma's specific tastes. It's great for growing our bandana collection and it means more sales for them. And best of all, it's so much easier and faster for everyone. Click the link in the description below to learn more and get started today.